hello welcome again to my channel my name is Cynthia in today's tutorial I am going to teach you how to cut um, a four pieces cats okay so if you're new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe and also like and at the end of this video you can also share with your soulmates if you find it very interesting okay so right now you're going to fold your fabric into two like I just did here I'm supposed to use paper, a pattern paper for this, but because I don't have any, I decided to use what the material. If you don't want to consume more material, you should use a pattern paper to draft while you um, transfer to your material. Now I'll be taking my hip line from my waist to hip is nine inches to the nail I use 19 inches and the length of the skirt I'm working with is 45 so I use the whole of what the fabric okay now I am going to make my lines visible I'll just draw all my lines that's the hip line and then we have the nail line I'm using 19 inches for my nail line all right so now I have once I'm through with drawing the lines I am going to also label label my my work to get okay I'll label my work and once I'm done with that I uh, will start taking our measurements so the waist um okay I um, will label it as waist and then I have my hip okay sorry it's looking that way I have my hip and then I have the new I wanted to understand it well that's why I'm writing it that way all right so and once we are through with that my waist the waist I'm working with is 44 44 divided by 4 I have 11 inches so I will take my 11 inches all right so and I'm going to add 2 inches for my allowance and then I will add my dad of one inch and then next I'll take is my hip um hip measurement the hip I'm working with is 56 56 divided by by four we have 14 inches yeah I think so we have 14 inches all right so I'm going to take my 14 inches and then I'll add my two inches for my allowance so once I do that, whatever I have on my hip, I'm going to subtract um, one, one and a half inches as 1.5 from it, giving me um, giving me 12.5. So I'll just connect my work. So I connected from my waist to my hip, then to my knee. And then for the down part, I'm going to check what I have on my hip. My hip, remember I had... 14 plus 2 inches at 16. I'm going to put the same thing on the hemming area. That's the bottom part. I'll put 16 inches there. And then um, I'm going to add my flay allowance. It all depend on the fabric you have. If you have much fabric, you can add as high as 5, 6, 7 inches. Depending on what you want. But I'll be using in this case, I'll be using just... um. Um, five inches for this okay uh, all right because i'm trying to manage my fabric i'll be making uh, a blouse with this so i was trying to manage the fabric so i took just so i took extra five inches after i got my um hip measurement there so i'm going to connect my my line i hope you understand what i just did there so i'll connect the line okay um, like I said, you can take five inches, you can use four, you can use six. It all depends on what you want. So for my new, my new line, from the new line, I'm going to connect it to meet my 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 skirt length. So you can see the connection. Just use a long ruler or whatever ruler you have. So once I do that, I am going to cut it up and also open it. Yes, we're not ending it here. We're not ending in the skirt here. And that's the reason why you should use a pattern paper. All right. I couldn't get a pattern paper and I really needed to cut this just for you guys. So uh, I'm wasting a lot of material here, but don't worry. Um, I'm going to cut it out and then I am going to show you how um, to get your um, four pieces um, skirt. So what I'm, I'm just trying to rule that line so that 
I wouldn't, um, there won't be any, any mistake and all that. So just cut it out, okay? Now the line I rolled, um, is not going to affect anything. It's just the line that is, um, connected to the flea. That's why I had to take it that way. So I'll just cut out the skirts and then we'll open it up and continue with our four pieces skirt. You can see the, the line is touching the flea. Okay, that's why I took the, that line. So now I'm going to like open it up so that we will continue with um, a cutting. Okay, so before we start um, opening it, you must make sure that um, you indicate that line, that center line, okay? You know, we folded uh, our fabric before we started cutting. So make sure that there's a line there, okay? So I'm trying to just use the chalk to create that line so that when I flip, when I open up my work, um, I will see the line. So now we're going to open up the work and then I'll place it back on the table so you can see that line is showing. So you would need that. So make sure that you have that line. So right now, what I'm going to do now is I am going to um, take half inch for my allowance. Okay, from that line, you're going to take half inch outwardly. All right, you take half inch. And so that half inch will enable you to join it to the next to the um to the two panels remember the front panel of the four pieces there'll be two panels for the uh four pieces okay the the front is having two and the back is having two so i'll be taking half inch half inch okay this half inch will enable me to join it when i am what join it the two the two fronts all right so just take the half inch so once you take the half inch just rule the line all right okay just take the half inch okay all right, so I'm going to um, rule um, my line. And so once I'm done ruling the line, I am going to start um, um, adding my what, putting my what, my, my flay. Okay, so just take your time and what, and draw the line. Someone will ask, must it be half inch? Okay, if you decide you want to take um, one inch, you can take because, um, you are going to be turning up your work so you can just take one inch all right i'm taking half inch because i i would i know how to what, manage my fabric so that's why i'm taking half inch if you think half inch will be enough for you you can decide to take what um one one inch one inch okay so now i am going to check what i have on the down part okay i'll check what i have there the flay I have there, remember the flay we took. And now once you have it, um, you're going to what, um, add it on the other side from where that line you drew started. So that's exactly what I'm going to be adding there. Okay, so the, the measurement I had there was my hip plus 5 inches. I don't know if you remember. The hip plus 5, we had 16 inches plus um, 5, even us a total of 21. So when I measured, it was 21. So from the um sorry about that i was just trying to um channel my camera very well so that you guys can see it so from the new part yeah from the new part i'm going to connect it to that what 21 inches if you understand what i just did yeah i want to connect my what my four pieces okay so from that new part i'm going to connect it to what to the 21 inches on the other side of the flay so this is our what our four pieces. I hope you really understand what I just did from the new part. We are going to connect that way, okay? So once we are through with connecting, I'm just going to cut it out, all right? We're just going to cut, and please make sure you cut neatly, okay? So we'll just cut it out. Okay, on the bottom area, I don't want it very, looking very sharp. So I'm going to come all by one inch, okay, from that flat area. I came up by one inch and then I connected it into the hemline, okay, if you understand what I mean. So that that area won't look um, sharp, okay, it looks somehow curved and all that. So this is a uh, four pieces guess. So I'm going to call it from the other side. Remember the other side, okay, from the waist to the hip then from the hip to my 
nail. So once I am through with cutting um the skirt part, I'm going to because at the end of this, I ended up cutting just only one one panel of the front. Okay, you see the reason why you should do it with your pattern paper so that you transfer at once. So at the end of everything, I ended up cutting just one. So this I will use this to trace out the second the second panel of the front part. So once I'm through with tracing it out, we will now um cut out for um the backwards the back part. Okay, so I will use this to cut out what the second um front panel. Um, I was true with cutting out the front, the second panel for the front part. So now I want to cut out um the back part. So now from that place where the line is straight, remember where we made a line straight, where we, that place we added half inch. So from that part, you're going to be adding your zipper allowance on that part. You can use one and a half inch. You can use two inch. You can use one inch. It all depends on um, the amount of fabric you you have. So for me, I used I used one. I, I used two inches. So you take two inches from that line, that place that is straight, not from the hip part. That that place that the line is straight. Okay, you remember that place we took half inch. That's the part you should take. Okay, you just take your zipper allowance. You connect it. You can see I connected it to the new area and then from the new area I connected what my my flay. Alright, so that's what that is exactly what you should do, as you can see. That's exactly what you should do. And so uh, because I had no uh, because there was no much fabric on that area, so what I did was I, I connected it right into the what into the flay. Okay, so that was what we did. But if you have enough fabric you can decide to still add two two inches on that um flay area. So right now we are going to just what start cutting it. So I'm going to cut out my cut out the what my um back panel that's um the four pieces skirt. And again, before I started cutting, I folded my fabric. Actually, folded my fabric into two. Okay. So now that I folded into two, I will just have to get two. That's the two sides, the two back side, okay? So once I'm through with this cutting, we are going towards go and cut out our linings and then we'll cut, we'll start what we start stitching. Okay, now for this skirt, I will not be using band, okay? I'll not be using a skirt band for this. I usually like my, my skirt or the, or the band area turned up with a lining that's how i like my skirt so because of that i won't be using the band i will actually add just um uh, a gum stay to that band area i'll add gum stay to the waist area and then i'll turn it up with my lining that's how i like wearing my skirt but that's not how i make the skirt for customers no but for me, that's how I like wearing my own. I don't like much drama on my clothes. I'm actually making this for myself, all right? Like I told us at the beginning of this year that our class are very loaded, okay? Because of you, I will waste so many clothes. All right, so now this is the back panel. As you can see, eh, I, and I know you understand it very well. So right now, we are going to go ahead to cut out the linings. All right, so let me show you very well. So this is, this is the, the one that has label is the front panel. I have to place it on the ground so that you can have a very nice view of it. So that's um, the front and what, and the back part. You can see where the hip is, okay? So this is my lining. I'm true with cutting what the lining is for the front and this for the back. So we are going to go and start what joining. All right, so to start joining, um, we're going to join from that part that is straight, if you still remember. That part we added half in. So this is the two parts. I'm going to ask one of my girls to carry the second part. That's this is the two front to cut and hair. So we'll just fold it like that. And then we're going to go and join from that part. I know I'm taking my time to show you this so that you will understand it better. So this is Chetashi, my my apprentice, my student. She was helping out. All right. So from that place I'm touching right now, I am going to join from that area. All right. We join from that area. Then we take it what 
down so we are going to go to our machine and do that and also we'll also do the lining the same way this is the true the two front parts okay we are going to also join um from that area that the that is straight if you don't have inch if you remember so we are going to also fold the same way the same way we did for the back for the for the main fabric we'll fold the same way okay and then we are going to go and join from that part again from that part from up from up to bottom <laughs> if you understand nigerian language up to bottom praise the lord all right so i'm going to go now and what we're going to start what doing our joining we also do the same thing for the back side but now the back side we're not going to join that way now the back side each of the back side we just have turn up we just turn it up if you understand what i mean now I'll carry the back side uh -huh. I'll bring the back side and I will turn it up immediately. I won't join the two linings like I did for the front. The reason is because of our zipper allowance. So you'd want to join it different. So this is one side of the back. Okay. So I'll just go and do all my turn up. But before I do it, I'll first of all cut out one inch from my lining. All right. So that my lining will not be coming out while I am putting on my skirt so we'll cut that one inch and then we'll join the hemming area first and then before we start joining the what the two sides all right so we'll keep that aside we will go to our machine and what i will start what joining so i'll come back to show you um what um what we actually um arrived at the end of what's of a joining All right, so this is the back part. Um, we're able to finish joining. I've added my zipper on it. So this is how she's looking. Okay, so this is the back part. And we also went ahead to, to give it a very hot press. So, and also this is the front part, okay? We are through with joining the front also. We also went ahead to give it a hot press. All right, so I'm going to start closing up my work. So I have... On my waist so hip nine inches from the waist to the knee is 19 inches so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to check what i have for my waist my waist i divided into two and so i'll be using 22 inches remember and then whatever i have i divide into two and put one the um, right side and the other side and so once i'm through with um calculating my my work i'll just go to the machine and what and close it up so just take your proper measurements and so this is the finished look of the skirt if this tutorial was very helpful please don't forget to like share if you have not subscribed please